Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Rosewell R5 case and it is designed for gamers and carries an MSRP of $99. At the top you'll find the I.O. ports. You have a pair of USB 2.0 ports, jacks for your microphone and your headphone, a USB 3.0 port, a single one, and an eSATA port. You also have the reset and power buttons and there are also activity LEDs here for the hard drive on the left side and the power for the right side and this is a unique feature it has a built-in fan controller you can just move the knob from left to right adjusting the fan speed also at the rear can remove the top to reveal a filtered cover and there's a room for a pair of 120 millimeters or a single 140 and a single 120 millimeter or just a single 120 millimeter fan. At the front you'll find three five and a quarter inch external drive bays and a fourth one that is convertible to a 3.5 inch external drive. This is not an external 3.5 inch area, this is actually just part of the design and at the bottom you'll find similarly to the top a removable dust cover also as washable and filtered in the back and behind that you'll find that there are, there are a pair of 120 millimeter fans that are pre-installed and you can also remove the entire front bezel of course just lift from the bottom and pull out and if you look closely the locks are actually metal so they're much more durable than plastic and uh, there's a lot less risk of breaking off and users not being able to put back their front cover if they remove it. Also behind that you'll find filters as well behind the 5 quarter inch external drive base. And of course to open these up and remove it, you just push, it, uh, push a lock on each side and pull out from the bottom. See there, just have to take out one cover for when you're installing a five and a quarter inch external device back there and also to put it back you just simply snap it into place the left side panel has ventilation holes around here on the CP area on the motherboard area as well as the hard drive area you'll notice that the holes are different in design you have the honeycomb style here on the hard drive while here on the uh, on the motherboard area you will find that the uh, mounting rather the uh, the ventilation holes are rounded that is because also they double as a um, an adjustable mounting hole for a 120 or 140 millimeter fan also the panels are secured by thumb screws there are also Kensington locks you can add here on the, on the panel and there is also a handle for easily pulling up inside you'll find your R5 gaming case users manual outlines the components that come with the R5 gaming case features and also how to install some of the components. These are all in English and the accessory package is in one of these hard drive caddies. Small white box. Here you'll find it is a five and a quarter inch to a three point five inch external adapter. You have your USB three point to USB two point adapter, just in case your motherboard does not have a twenty pin USB three point header yet. You can convert it to a regular USB two point header. bag of accessories containing I see a 
motherboard speaker there for troubleshooting the beeps on your motherboard. And boot up. You also have your cable ties for cable management. And there are several assorted screws in here. Of course, these long ones are for, and there goes one. This one is for, of course, installing fans. You have your motherboard standoffs, which are also black. You have your regular component screws. More screws. I'm assuming these are for motherboard. A different uh, flat head type. And uh, this last one, there is actually a adapter for installing your motherboard standoff with just a screwdriver. And there's another one here actually that is uh, has a sharp end here. Different kind of screw. Consult the manual to see what it is. See, they're actually laid out there and described each one. So you won't get confused whenever you are installing the components inside the Roswell R5 the tower case. Inside, you'll find, of course, space for the 5 and quarter inch drive bays. Um, these use toolless mounting mechanisms, as you can see here. Just go to the left to unlock and move to the right to lock in place. Very simple. Very easy to use. Also, you have your 246 and a half inch hard drive matching airs. You have your front panel connectors. These are very long cables, as you can see here. This Molex Power is, of course, for the fan controller. See in there? It's a two way female and male Molex end. And here you have your uh, fan connectors. This is for three pin fans. For your fan controller, you can connect up to three fans with that built in fan controller. You have your front panel audio, USB 2.0, eSATA, front panel connectors. You have your uh, reset switch, power switch, hard drive LED, and power LED. And of course your USB 3.0 20 pin connector. So these colored ones are of course uh, the 3 pin fans from the pre-installed uh, pair in the front. Also one in the rear. So that's three. And you can attach them to the fan controller and use it. Also there is an uh, optional mounting area for a 120 millimeter fan in the middle as well down here. Also at the top and there's plenty of cable routing areas that are grommeted. You can see there down at the bottom here and three here on the right side of the motherboard. And the motherboard tray itself is sunk in. And uh, see the large motherboard CPU cutout back there. At the bottom of the Roseville R5 case, you'll find four feet that elevate the ground. These are very simple. These are plastic uh, feet here. And you also have dust filters for, of course, the power supply area. Easily removable by sliding it out. There's also another one right beside it in the middle for the optional 120 millimeter fan. You can pull it out here on the um, left side panel. See in there? At the rear, of course, we'll find the exhaust fan. You have the 120 millimeter. Fan is pre installed in here, upgradable to 140 millimeter. There are mounting holes for that. Also, you have four pre cut and grommeted water cooling holes for external water cooling, and you have seven PCI expansion slots at the bottom, of course, the power supply mounting area. Here on the right side panel, there are honeycomb ventilation holes here, right beside the hard drive area. Similarly found on the left side panel and also you have the Kensington lock here to secure it when you are in public and the thumb screws 
to secure it in place. You can easily pull it, uh, take them out, and also a convenient handle. You can easily pull it out when you need to. And there behind it, to see a better look of the cable routing options. Since the motherboard air is sunken, uh, there's very little space to route a cable back, back here, but uh, you have to route it here at the bottom along this area. Um, also, you will plug in your SATA connectors here for the hard drive. As you can see there, that's why it's open. And uh, you can probably route the 8 pin cable here if it's not too thick, although, as you, as you can see, it is quite tight fit uh, because of the sunken motherboard air. So we'll see later once we do our installation. So that's what actually what we're going to do now. We're going to put in our components one by one inside the Roseville R5 gaming case med tower. And of course, I can read the rest of the review at www.hightechlegion.com. You can leave questions or comments below. And you can um, click on our channel to see the installation part of this overview video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.